Hello everyone, and welcome to your fourth C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Last time I learned you something about basic animation, and um, today I'm going to learn you how to create a basic maze. You know, like um, like those kind of clubs they use in the middle age. Well, a web. Now you go down here to where it says object mode. You go into edit mode. And now you hit uh, the set key, or you can just go down here and select wireframe. But set as the keyboard shortcut to wireframe mode. Now you are going to say um, W while you have this uh, default cube selected. You say subdivide multi. Number of cuts. Make sure that's two. Hit OK. And as you see, this will subdivide the cube, the default cube into um, nine small cubes. Now, while still having all everything selected, you type E. This will bring up the extrude menu. Now, to hit individual faces and extrude it until it looks something like. Let's see. Yeah, my computer is kinda annoying me right now. Until it looks something like this. Now you hit W W again and you're going to say there's a bevel thing down here. I don't know how to pronounce it in English to be honest. Now make it look something like this. Now you can go into um, solid view in here and go into object mode. Now we actually created the mace head. This is the head of the mace. Now we're going to make a handle for the head too. Also, or else, you know, it'll not be real good without a handle. I mean, like, you're not supposed to throw the mace at someone. So. We're going to hit the spacebar, add, mesh, uh, cube. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we have our cube right here, which is the same size of this um, as our maze head. And it's not supposed to be the same size as our maze head. So you hit S to scale it down. And scale it down to something like this. And you're going to zoom by scrolling the wheel, pan by holding down shift and the middle mouse button. Now you hit uh, S to scale it and then Z to scale it on the Z axis. Mm, something like this. Now S again. And Y to scale on the Y axis, at Y axis, which will make it longer. This is a good length. And now, finally, now that you have this, uh, now that you have our cube right here selected, you go into edit mode again. And now you turn it like this you know you rotate it by holding down the middle mouse button you hit A to deselect everything B and now just select the bottom faces you know like the bottom of our cube right here and that's kinda hard to do if your computer is annoying you Ugh! please computer stop it You're humiliating, you're humiliating me on YouTube. Okay, final try. Yeah, it worked. Now you hit E again. Now it's dude region. Pull it out just a little bit more. Now hit uh, scale to scale it. And you're going to scale it in like. 
and now you say W merge add center remove three verticals okay so you know this will make the end pointy this will extrude you know like add a into it and then uh, make it pointy now we can go back into object mode and we can try and hit F12 to see what we just made and as you see it's you know, not totally inside the camera's point of view which we have to have it so we're going to say B and select the mace head and our cube right here and the handle now you just pull the green arrow and try native to tool again to render it and um, yeah to me it looks like the handle is quite big so we're going to zoom in you hit A to deselect this thing right here now you right click it or um, the cube right here we're going to scale it on the C axis to make it less uh, fat if you can call it that also scale it on the X axis to make it a little bit thinner and now let's try and hit up 12 again see how that looks mm, well now it's too small and I feel like the pointy end is a bit too pointy actually so we're gonna go back into uh, edit mode right here and now we should have this pointy end um, selected Now we're going to hit the uh, pull the green arrow to make our end a little bit smaller. And now we can try and hit F12 again. Yeah, that looks better. Now we just have one more problem to deal with, and that is that I think that the um, the handle looks like it's too small now actually. So let's go back into object mode and select this actually. Now you hit scale, LS for scale, and scale it on the C axis or the X, no, sorry, on the Z axis. So make it a little bit fatter. Now, let's try and hit compile and run. No, sorry, not compile and run. I forgot that we're not low, that I'm not making C++ tutorials right now. I'm in hit F12 to render it, and now it looks like that. Yeah, that looks, um, that looks good to me. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that for this time. Next time, I'll learn you how to texture this mace. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in my next tutorial.